more secrets to share here in Bone Lab, or rather just like little tiny little cool details and stuff like that. So for starters, here is what we're on. We're on full release Oculus Quest version, blah, 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 blah. And then these are the current patch notes. If it says anything other than this, then it's probably going to be inaccurate for you because the game has updated since then. Uh, but these are the most recent patch notes, and this is what version I'm on and everything. So there you go. Now that that's clear, we're hopping into Mind Dive by accident. What happened? I don't know how I ended up here. I, I must have clicked it by accident. I What? <laughs> now, almost basically pretty much everyone probably already knows this, but I just want to go ahead and share this now since I have to do it for the next one anyway. But if you come up here in the museum basement, there is a little little thing sitting right here, just like that, right there on that where that cube fell. You can take it and then fly over here. You don't even need the Nimbus gun for this. It just makes it a little bit easier. You could stick this in there and then hold this button down and this will actually come open. See, another interesting thing too is like, uh, this leads to a whole lot of areas and stuff like that. But you can also just use the Nimbus gun and just like fly through this without even having that in there. So that's kind of a fun thing. So this one, uh, you don't even have to be in the museum basement, you can be anywhere. Just get yourself one of these spawn guns, find the hexagonal uh, container, and then try and spawn it somewhere, right? Just spawn it anywhere, it doesn't matter where you spawn it, it can come from the sky, it doesn't matter. And then, just simply try and remove it. But what's that? You can't remove the hexagonal retain containers? I'm not actually sure why this is the case, but it's actually super interesting too, because even this thing, which just automatically deletes stuff, doesn't delete these containers. So anyway, basically the hexagonal containers cannot be deleted by any means whatsoever. I'm not really sure why they can't be deleted, but they just can't be deleted. So if you ever try to spawn these or like doing anything with these whatsoever in the game, uh, be careful because you cannot delete it. You, you you can't do anything with it. You can't destroy it. I mean, you can you can like pick it up and like move it around and stuff if your avatar is strong enough. But you yeah, you're just like, you. once it's there, you're screwed. Uh, even if you try and spawn it inside one of these things, which usually deletes stuff, it, it still just it just gets stuck. And you can put stuff on top of it, and then, then they won't get disintegrated because they're not touching the lava anymore. But yeah, there you go. There's that one. So this next one is the soda machines. Did you know these actually work? As you just saw there, I just punched this, and boom, one came out. You can also do this with the pills. They give you beer bottles for some reason i'm not really sure why uh and then this one also gives you like little sodas all you have to do is come up there and hit them you can also shoot them of course and they also just drop some out as well so yeah you can pretty much just hit these as much as you want eventually it won't give you any more because there seems to be some kind of limit on how many sodas or whatever else you can get out of these not really sure why that's the case but if you just simply you know uh, get yourself this thing and like remove one of the sodas or whatever you can shoot it again or hit it again And it will give you another one. So yeah, there definitely seems to be some kind of limit about four maybe five I'm not really sure why that limits in place I guess because they don't want it to like lag out your game or maybe that's to make it more realistic because there would only be so many inside the machine, right? Uh, but yeah, so here is something fun that I have found and it involves the Nimbus gun and the hollow chamber um, all you have to do is get this this thing and then just clip through basically any of the walls and and forgive me on this too because it's going to look super fucking trippy and glitchy but when i go through that wall if you look on the outer edges of the screen you should see like the stress level zero logo and almost what looks like the loading screen that you have whenever you load in from world to world so it almost seems like whatever's outside of this hollow chamber is the loading screen uh for basically everything uh let me know what you can make out in this um, I'm about to do it, so let me know what you can make out in this, and yeah, let's check it out. So yeah, as you can see over here, on, on uh, ignoring this screen in the very center, but these edges, it's like the gray bit that you see, uh, like the floor, and then you can see like over here on the right side, it looks like Stress Level Zero's logo, and in certain angles, you can actually see, well... I don't know how to explain it. Uh, like the, the loading screen, like the little loading bar or something. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely there, right? Let me know what you guys can make out in that because it, it's very interesting to me. But yeah, there you go. There's a fun little fun little thing for you. Another fun cool little thing for you is if you get the uh, spawn gun uh, and everything like that, not only does it have like the little cat here, which is nice and all these other little details and stuff, but if you actually use it and go to utilities, you see this little guy up here and you can actually click him and he meows. 
So that's a fun little thing. And there you have it. That was the last one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there's any other like secrets or like little details or anything like that that I might have missed that you might have known about that you don't think very many people know about. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, please do leave comments below or share this video or like this video or do any number of those things because it really, really, really helps out this channel a lot. And I would very, very much appreciate it. Uh, and yeah, uh, see you next time. And remember to stay asleep.